I'm here to carve out some space and some time to uh, get some work done. It's so wonderful to be here now and to finally really get to shift gears and focus on my own practice. I'm the executive director of the Malay Colony for the Arts. I've been here th since 2006 and I love it. It's an amazing place to be. I feel so fortunate that this is where I come to work. When I started, the colony was solely an artist residency program, which means that we open our campus. We have eight acres in the Berkshire foothills in Columbia County, and we have two buildings. We offer private bedrooms and private studios to all the artists who spend time with us, as well as all their meals. My job is basically to make sure that the residents are all happy, that things are running smoothly here at the colony. It's been a great privilege to watch them come through. We've had people come in from all over the world uh, to take this opportunity. This place is great. It's, you know, it's very secluded. It's beautiful. You know, you have so much time to, to work in a way. I mean, you're not even worrying about cooking your own meals. <laughs> like, it's really, you know, pretty remarkable. I haven't done any, any other residencies before. This is actually my first one, um, so I'm, I'm kind of coming to terms with what that means. It's, I believe, not actually the sort of leisure time that we're led to believe. It's, it's certainly not a, a vacation, but rather a kind of space where I'm forced to confront, I feel like, my presumed understandings of what it means to be an artist and how to approach my own individual artistry, um, which is, is also another way of confronting my constructed identity as an artist. Since I came, we've developed some other programs. We now offer workshop retreats at the colony in the summer. People sign up for a workshop and they get five days with a, an artist or a writer. And we do an arts education program. So we're now in four school districts in Columbia County. I'm a former fellow of Malay Colony, so I did a residency there in 2011 in the summer. And since then, I've been participating in the school's education committee. When I go visit schools of Malay, I'm hoping to get the students to engage in art, to talk to me and think about work, to sort of energize them and introduce them to art and something they may not be getting out of regular our classes. It was, I think, in 2010 when I first had the idea in working in conjunction with Teachers and Writers Collaborative to bring teaching writers up from New York City to stay at the colony to do mini residencies in the regional schools. I liked how they came in and taught us how it is instead of us going there. It was different from any other class that we usually have. It was really more thinking outside of the box rather than, you know, sitting and listening to a lecture, taking notes. What was really different was that they were asking us our own opinions and what we thought about art. The residency program is still the core of what we do, and our resident artists are very much the soul of the Malay Colony. But we're really out in the community a lot more than we used to be. I'm really of course, grateful for the, the time and the space to, to confront this situation. It's certainly a gift and not something to be taken lightly. There are so many different ways that the arts become sort of secondary. And one of the great privileges of my life is to work in a place where we really are always emphasizing the importance of the arts and of the artists we work with.